What's good, YouTube? We are back again with another video. And in this video, it's a video I've been thinking about doing for a long, long time, right? So we're finally here. I'm super excited for it. Man, what can I say, right? This is why I got into Jordans. This is why I got into sneakers. It is the original colorways. And we're doing a, I think this is going to be a four part series, right? So I'm taking years 85 to 1990. And then we're going to take 90 to 93. And then 95 to 98. Right, that's gonna be the third video. And then, of course, we're gonna end it with the Washington years. And we're gonna go through all the sneakers that I own that Mike wore on court, right? That's the point of this video. I do have the jerseys now from that era. So every jersey here, he wore between 85 and 90 or a representation of that era, right? Of course, you know, Mitchell and Ness replicates 1985 jerseys and, and 1988 jerseys. I have versions, you know, retros of those jerseys. Let's just say. What I wanted to do was give you Jordan 1s, Jordan 1s that he wore, Jordan 2s, and I will say this, the timeline, guys, a lot different. So he wore multiple silhouettes within one season in his early years. Right, so literally 85 to 93, he wore different models during that year. So for example, in 1991, right, his championship year. So 1990, 1991 is the championship season. He wore a fire red five, and then he wore a infrared six, right? So he wore two different models that championship year. I say that to say from 85 to 93, it's really difficult to kind of figure out his timeline. So I'm going to do my best. I may be wrong. And anybody who's truly a Michael Jordan aficionado, please let me know down below what the real timeline is. Because again, I've tried to figure this out via videos, via YouTube, via pictures. And I think this is the closest that I got to it from understanding what exactly he wore from year to year, right? So there's that. So we're going to take a look right into his rookie season, right? So I have a couple of rookie jerseys. This one in particular is the white Mitchell and S rookie jersey. They did a pretty good job with this. This is also the white rookie all-star jersey. And then we have a couple rookie authentic jerseys. So this one here, <laughs> this was a blunder by Nike. They reproduced the Chicago rookie jersey for the 8403 series. They did it with the NBA logo, which he didn't have, which of course Mitchell and S got right. Just for comparisons, right? We have the Mitchell and S rookie jersey, beautifully done. And this is what Nike did. Mitchell and S did a better job at replicating the 1984-85 rookie season. Of course, rookie of the year. I love the jerseys, no doubt about it, but I'm really here to talk about the sneakers. So, rookie year, of course, we have the Chicago one. This is one of many versions that I have. I don't have the 2015, which I think is the best version of the sneaker. Of course, I'm not talking about the 1994 and all the real previous versions of the sneaker. I was lucky enough to get an exclusive access to the Jordan 1 Lost and Found. I also have the Spider-Man version. Do I have any other version? I think that's it. Right, so I have this one and the Spider-Man version, which is sort of a Chicago one with different shit on it. But this basically, but this is the Chicago one that Jordan wore during his rookie season, right? This is not my favorite Jordan one. Maybe if I had the 2015, I have a little bit of a different take on it, but I have this version. It's a really nice one to have. I am thankful to get it in retail, but... It's not my favorite Jordan 1. My favorite Jordan 1 in which he wore is the Black Toe Jordan 1. Right? This is my favorite Jordan 1. He also wore this sneaker in the 1984-85 season. He also wore a black tongue version to the Black Toe. Super dope, right? Um, this to me is the cream of the crop Jordan 1. This is my favorite colorway of the Jordan 1. So anything Black Toe with a colored back 
is my favorite style of Jordan 1. This is a beauty, right? So he wore this during his rookie campaign, rookie of the year. I mean, we go on and on about the accolades that Michael Jordan, the great, the GOAT, has had, right? So this is the Jordan 1 black toe. Now, this is where things get a little tricky. So this is season one. Season two, he gets injured. I want to say he got injured in the preseason. Maybe, maybe not. But if not, it was early in the season. So he didn't play a lot of games. He gets injured. He broke his foot. He wears different variances of Jordan 1. So that's when we seen, which I had, was the Jordan 1.5. Which is a Jordan 1 with a Jordan 2 bottom. I actually had the sneaker. I bought it on East Bay. It was on a discount. You can add a 15% off. And for some reason, I didn't think about keeping it. I don't know why, right? It's sold for like 300 bucks. It's one of those sneakers that I probably wish I would have kept. It is history. It may not repeat as far as a retro. This is the second year that Michael Jordan played. He would wear different versions of the Jordan 1. Now, one Jordan 1 he wore during the 1980. 586 season which is his injury year right this is the year he broke his foot he wore a jordan one with a dunk bottom right i will put pictures up if i can but he wore that sneaker and it was just beautiful right different versions of the jordan one literally throughout his injury season so now we have the 1984 85 season 85 86 season was a short season he really just played a couple of games and then went right into the playoffs. And that's when he had his 63 points in his second season against the Celtics, which is a record to this day. So again, I'm just throwing out stats for you guys. No Google required. Trust me when I tell you. No Google required, man. I just know this shit, right? This is stuff that I've fucking been Googled or been knew about from years ago. So I'm just spitting it out now, right? So this is the Jordan 1. So he pretty much wore the Jordan 1. His first two seasons, right? So there's that. Then we get to the 1986-87 season, right? Now, I think at this point, he stopped with the Jordan 1, right? So the Jordan 1's done with, and he went to the Jordan 2. Now, I'll be honest with you, this is the shoe that I waited for to do this video. Now that I have this in my collection, this is, to me, the best Jordan 2. It is a fantastic Jordan 2. This is the main Jordan 2 that he would wear during the 86-87 season. This is the season in which he scored 37 points a game, which is crazy. This is the most he would average in a season, which is crazy. And he would rock these beauties right here, right? But he would not only rock these. He would also go into the playoffs and the latter part of the season rocking the Jordan 2 Low, and the Jordan 2 Varsity Red. In fact, he wore the Varsity Red Jordan 2 in the All-Star Game. So the 1987 All-Star Game, which is, which jersey? Hold on one second, All right? This is the 1988-89 season, but they wore the same exact jersey in the 1987 All-Star Game. And he would wear this Jordan 2 with this style of jersey, right? So, we have the Jordan 2s, and then we have the Jordan 2 lows. Now, I think in the playoffs, in the 1987 playoffs, he would rock the Jordan 2 low in the Varsity Red low. So, there's a low version to this one as well, and then he would rock this one as well, right? So, now we fast forward to his first MVP season. This is the 1987-88 season, right? 1987-88 season, he has a fantastic season. He wins Defensive MVP and regular season MVP. He's still rocking a Jordan 2. Okay, so he's still rocking forms of the Jordan 2, whether it's the low top, whether it's the varsity red and low top, but he's rocking somewhat of a Jordan 2. Then in the 1988 slam dunk contest, it was in Chicago. And he brings out the white cements. Now he would rock the white cements for the remainder of the season. So this is the sneaker he would wear at the end of the 1987-88 season. All right. So we get to the 1988 playoffs. All right. And I've done a little bit of research, 
But if you take a look at that first round, which is an incredible first round by Michael Jordan. Fun fact, I hate to say this because I don't like to throw shots at athletes. Respectfully, the Bulls played against the Cavs in the first round. Michael Jordan averaged 45 points a game. Right? It was like something incredible. Take a look at it. Take a look at the stats, Wikipedia, basketball reference. Great fucking website to take a look at some of these stats. Played against the Cavs. Average 45 a game, like eight rebounds, something just incredible. Scottie Pippen average, I think, 10 points a game, right? So a lot of people say Mike never won when Scotty was around. It was when Scotty came around, he started to win. But Scotty didn't develop like people thought he did until later on, right? A couple of years in. 8990, 9091. That's when you started to see Scottie Pippen develop. This is the sneaker he would wear in the playoffs of the 1988 playoffs, right? So, Fire Red 3s, gorgeous sneaker. I just did a review on both of these, comparing them both. They look beautiful. Hey, baby, I'm still doing the video, okay, baby? Um, Give me a kissy. My boy. Yeah. And then we'll play uh, Rayman? Yeah. Okay, just let me finish this video, okay? Yeah. You want to show it? Yeah, show it. Yeah, boy. Shout out to Brooklyn. He's so Brooklyn, by the way. Lincoln, say hi. 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 Hi, video. Hi, <laughs> video. <laughs> yep. Look at my jersey. Mm -hmm. And look at his jersey. Pretty cool, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. so, so let me finish this video, okay? Okay. I'm almost done. All right, so the Fire Red 3, he would wear in the 1988 playoffs. Like I said, it's a super gorgeous sneaker. Um, phenomenal stats that he had put. This is the first time, maybe the first time he'd run into the Pistons in the 1988 playoffs. And of course, the Pistons will win. So yeah, there's that, right? So we go to the 88-89 season. Now, he goes back to the White Cement 3s. He goes back to the Fire Red 3s. But he decides to... Let me make sure I find this sneaker. He decides to pull out this sneak. Whoa, I messed up. Hold on one second. So, All-Star Game, right? I just hit the camera, my bad. So, All-Star Game, he decides to pull out the Jordan 4 Black Cement, right? Now, this is the jersey he will wear with the Black Cement 4s. So, again, beautiful sneaker. We will see this sneaker later on. In fact, I skipped a sneaker. My bad. Pause the video. I skipped the sneaker. Let me slow down for a second because I skipped an important sneaker. In the 1988 All-Star Game, he would rock exclusively the black cement version, right? This is the first time we would see an all-black version of his sneaker on the court. Other than the black and red Jordan 1 that he wore during the slam dunk contest, this is the first black version since then that we will see a Michael Jordan sneaker, and he wore this during the 1988 All-Star Game, right? So I'm kind of going a little bit too quickly. So I had to rewind this one a little bit. This is very important in Jordan history because he never wore this in the playoffs. Like, we would see black versions of Jordans later on. He would wear this in the All-Star Game, right? So again, 1987-88, Jordan 2, White Cement 3 for the Slam Dunk Contest, Black Cement 3 for the All-Star Game. And then White Cement 3 again. And then the Fire at 3 for the 1988 playoffs. Right? So 88, 89. We will see White Cements and Black Cements again. And then we will see the Black Cement 4, which I just had. Right? We will see this sneaker with this jersey. I know I said that a little bit earlier. So sorry for the repeat. But we will then see... The white cement fours on regular season games. What a beauty, right? This is just a sweet sneaker. I don't even need to talk about how beautiful the sneaker, right? All these sneakers are completely beautiful and awesome in their own way, right? So now we have the 1988-89 season. And then, right, we will go to the playoffs. So in the 1989 playoffs... We go back now to the Black Cement 4s. And this will officially start for the rest of his Chicago Bulls years, a black playoff sneaker. This is 
gorgeous, right? This is, I mean, I'll be honest with you, man. This was probably my favorite for a long time, my favorite Jordan 4, but I think this is my favorite Jordan 4 now. It's such a beautiful silhouette. Jordan 4s, it's almost perfect. It really is. So, he would wear this in the 1989 playoffs, right? So, let's put that to the side. Then, 1989, 1990, right? We get, oh man, I didn't bring the other ones down. Shit. Hold on one second. Now, trust me when I tell you, I do have the Nike Air version to this sneaker. But, for this video's sake, right, I'm not going to go upstairs and waste a little bit more time. This is the Fire Red from 2012. 12, 13. I don't know exactly when these released, but 12 or 13 is when these released. And this is the Fire Red 13. So now, we're in the 89-90 season. He would rock the Fire Red 4s for the beginning of that season. And then, in the All-Star game, in the 1990 All-Star game, he would bring out the black metallic 5s, right? This is the Playoff 5s. Beautiful 5. Probably my favorite 5. It's close with the Silver Tongue, but they're really close, right? So, call these the All-Star 5s if you want, because he really did debut them during the All-Star game. But I always resonate the black colorways to the playoffs. That's the first thing I think of because he made most of the memories and he wore them the most during the playoffs. But if you want to call them the All-Star game, of course, you could call them All-Star game slash playoffs. I totally get it. But this is the Jordan 5 that he would wear in the 1990 All-Star game, right? And then for the rest of that season, he would rock the white and silver tongue fire red Jordan 5s. Now, we got it with the Nike Air on the back. We got it with, you know, all the bells and whistles. So, again, this is probably my favorite 5. It's really close between these and the black metallics. This is what we got, right? So, another thing I want to show you is this jersey here, right? You're probably wondering why the fuck is a 12 jersey in the midst of Jordan jerseys, right? This is not Kirk Heinrich. This is a Michael Jordan jersey. Uh, fun fact, he wore this sneaker. First off, he not only wore this sneaker for his career high 69 points against Cleveland, but he also wore this sneaker when he played this game. This is the game in which they stole his jersey from the locker. So he had to wear a blank number 12, right? So no Jordan on the back, blank number 12, and he would rock this against the Magic. He would score 49 points, but he would rock the number 12 jersey. And if you take a look at his Winky page or his basketball reference page, he would have the number 12 on that page, man. So officially, this is a number he wore during his playing career, right? Unfortunately, Mitchell and Ness got it wrong. They heat pressed the Bulls, which is accurate, but they stitched the numbers, right? That's totally not accurate to what he wore back in the days. Same thing in the back. They stitched the numbers, not accurate. But this is a Michael Jordan jersey, February 14th, 1990. And he would rock the fire red silver tongue, right? That's important. There's, there's two fire reds. We'll get to the other one in the other video. But this one was the silver tongue. The other one is the black tongue. But yeah, this is... The Jordan 1985 to 1990, right, timeline of sneakers he wore. This is a video I enjoy doing because this is why I do it, personally. So, I don't even know how I could give you a thumbnail. Let me just take a look real quick. Here we have Jordan 3s, Jordan 1s. Oh, my God. Just so many beautiful, beautiful Jordans that I have Oh, man, I'm fucking up, y'all. Hold on. So this is my Jordan collection, right? Let me bring this Chicago ones up. This, to me, is why I do it. I remember seeing retro cards as a kid, just enjoying seeing what Mike played in. Of course, Mike was the biggest star ever. And the fact that we have, or the ability to have them, I think is super dope. So... Don't take that for granted for all you guys who collect out there. 
on that note, I hope you guys enjoyed this video because this is the shit that I love to do. And we out. Peace.